everyone. My name is Ikko Emoto. How is it going? I've just finished decorating bus number 23 and number 24 and I've got some time before I have to leave here so I'm going to do something I have been planning for the last couple of months Right! Here I'm going to do a bit of merchandise comparison After having dealt with clay or plaster for long hours your hands become extremely dry. I often have horrible experience like, for example, uh, the tip of my fingers are getting cracked. And once it happens, it doesn't heal for a long time because I'm constantly touching water or clay. So it's very important to look after your hands. So far, I have been using this hand cream called Grown Alchemist. My old classmate and also a good friend of mine called Louisa Taylor. Hi, Kiko! She is the author of some ceramic books and also the senior lecturer at the University of Brighton gave this to me as a present. And this cream is actually much better than the one I had been using previously. It smells really nice as well. So anyway, I have become curious about what kind of hand creams are available and how different they are. Right, there we go. I've got several hand creams with different brands here. So let's check them out. Okay, number one. Coconut oil hand cream from Palmer's. It was £1.85 and if you look up here, it says with vitamin E. Mm. Good smell of coconut. Mm. Yeah, it's quite good, but mm, it smells quite strong actually. Number two. Neutrogena hand cream from Johnson & Johnson It was £2.50 It's got a very tiny hole This will make it easy for users to control the amount of the cream they need Very kind mm. Mm, Slightly sticky but good texture with hint of the fragrance mm. I like this Number 3 Ultimate blend from Garnier. It was £1.99 and it says it's got the oil from Argan and Camellia. Mm. Smells a bit like um, common soap, which is kind of comfortable and mm, good texture. Nice hand cream. The next one is in a different kind of container. Working hands from O'Keeffe's. The price was £5.45. Slightly more expensive than the others. But I think it's reasonable price considering the size of this. smell of I don't know but something mm, gentle and natural the texture is also good I like this number five Nivea soft well-known brand I think you can probably purchase this from most of the news agencies or local supermarket I reckon the price was £2.99 by the way Smell is very strong, typical Nivea smell. A bit sticky, but very smooth. Number six, 
Dear Action Moisturizer from Clean and Clear, Johnson Johnson. It was £2.99, and this one can also be purchased from most of the local stores, I presume. It's almost smellless and very smooth texture. Next, Japanese one. It's called Shito Inameraka Cream from Mensoretum. English translation for this could be moist and smooth, I think. It was 600 yen, so it's about 450 in pounds. Mm, really nice cream, but the hole is slightly big, so you might accidentally squeeze more cream out of the container than you actually need. Number eight, it's French one, and it's called La Rose Pose. It was 560. Got. Well, I can't smell anything. And cream is quite thick. And it says repairing cream. So it's understandable. Nice cream and also wash hand cream. Number nine, French one again. Anis Patchouli from Compagnie de Provence. It was 11 pounds. Very posh hand cream. Texture is not sticky at all, but still moisturizing. Amazing cream. And finally, number 10 the present from Louisa. And it's called Grown Alchemist. It contains vanilla and orange peel. I've been using this hand cream over the last four weeks, so I know this hand cream very well. I imagine it's like having an expensive dessert in five star restaurant. You can't beat this. Okay, I'm going to select my very personal best three hand creams here. Number three, Ultimate Blend. It was with reasonable flies and very natural to my hands. Number two, Anis Patchouli. Slightly costly, but it's worse. And number one is Grown Alchemist. I simply love this one. Hello everyone, we've got verse number 23 and number 24 here. Hello madam, how are you doing today? Oh, hello. What's happening to your head? Oh, this one. There's this rumour going around, madam. Apparently, one well-known local prophet said that something big and round will fall on people's heads tonight. Yeah. Thank you. But we are in the building. Why should you wear a helmet? Madam, you never know anything could happen these days. Anyway, madam, what would you like to drink? Um, could I have a bottle of chintao, please? Certainly, madam. By the way, we have a spare helmet if you would like to have one. Um, okay then. I'll borrow one, just in case. Here you go, madam. Chintaobu. And I'll put this on for you.
like this, but honestly, this is totally weird to wear the helmet inside the building. Madam! Excellent! It has been only one year since we started doing films. I can't believe this. Time flies. Anyway, cheers everyone. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.